I absolutely believe Jag did the wrong thing. Jag was supposed to keep me and send Matt to the jury house. And I don't say that because I was going to stay, but I really believe he made a $750,000 mistake. Him taking the risk of sitting in that chair next to Matt will probably be the decision that he regrets for the rest of his life. I'm not quite sure why they kept nominating me. I think part of it was because, again, everybody talks about the blood on their hands. And once somebody's already been on the block, they're like, well, that person already has been on the block. So they can't be mad at everybody. And in the end, they're going to have to pick somebody anyway. So as long as we don't have to put too many other people on the block and have everybody mad, then we're okay. So I think I became the easy pawn. And I think because they realized that even though I didn't like it, I handled it well. I didn't really hold grudges. And so I, I just became an easy target. I think I survived because I handled it well. And in spite of getting put on the block, every time I got on the block, I tried to just stay me, just not go off, not get an attitude, not start fussing and cussing, but just I stayed myself. I stayed genuine to who I was. And I think that really just was what survived me. And then my little faith of a mustard seed, I just kept saying, come on, God, you brought me here. You meant for me to stay in this house for a minute. So I'm going to keep staying. And I think just the fact that I believed that my actions played into that. I'm shocked to see Bowie Jane in the final three. All along, we kept saying, how did we let Bowie Jane go this far? But I got to applaud her. Bowie Jane never hit the block. That was something stupid that those guys did in the end. Instead of throwing me on the block, you, you need to think about putting Bowie Jane there. You just gave her more ammo for her resume. But I think they thought at some point they were going to get rid of her. Then I think at some point they thought, well, she's an easy target to take to the end. But what they didn't anticipate was she was going to win two more HOHs and never hit the block. And then it's like, ah, the very thing that you thought was going to carry her to the end and let you make her the easy target to go home might be the thing that actually helps her win the game. <laughs> Ooh, because every once in a while when Mr. B would get irritated with me and he'd tell me, stop that, or he'd tell me, move your mic or go get a new mic. And it was like, come on. Actually, Mr. B was good to me. I I really don't have any complaints about Mr. B because for the most part, he honored all of my requests and he did it with grace. And he usually was very timely when I say, okay, Mr. B, you, you know, I ain't got no more milk. Now I don't know what's going on. Everybody else got what they want. And you ain't, got, I got this cheap tea that's floating around in my cup. You know, can I get some stuff? Everybody else got what they want. I need you to help us out. I'm trying to help everybody else. You got to help me. Mr. B was always good to me. And so I love me some, that, that's probably my greatest memory of this whole experience. My relationship with Mr. B. You know, I had to laugh. I Now, here's the thing. I knew Sari had a foot thing and don't like people doing nothing with feet on her bed. But I forgot. That shows you how comfortable we got. It's like, girl, you like my sister. I'm supposed to be able to cut my toenails on the bed and you be okay. We farted on each other's beds, even though she got mad when, when I farted on hers. She farted on mine a couple of times. It was just, so the relationship was crazy. And yeah, she made me get off her bed when I cut my, when she realized I was cutting my toenails and all I could do was laugh. It's like, I'm your sister. You're supposed to allow this type of thing. This is what sisters do. So it was a funny that we both hollered at. But uh, yeah, I knew that was irritating because she really did not like feet at all. <laughs> 